Kitchen, the Secrets Let's Play. We've got the last day and the last night. We've just finished. This is the final episode.
Bobby, that was wicked! Oh, it's such a pity Hermione didn't get to see it. What? Hermione wasn't at the match? No, I haven't seen her since she ran off this morning. I don't know. She's probably got her head stuck in a book somewhere. Anyway, I'm worn out. I'm off to bed.
She's still alive, but only just. Tom? Tom Riddle? Just? You've got to help me, Tom. We've got to get her out of here. There's a basilisk and it could be along at any moment. The basilisk won't come until it's called. Let me tell you about the real reason Ginny's like this. She's been writing in the diary. My diary for months. I grew stronger and stronger on a diet of her deepest fears until I had enough power to start pouring a little of my soul back into her. What do you mean? Ginny Weasley opened the Chamber of Secrets. She daubed threatening messages on the walls and set the Serpent of Slytherin on the mudbloods and nearly headless Nick. No! I'm afraid so. Ginny told me all about you, Harry. So I decided to show you my famous capture of that great oaf Hagrid to gain your trust. You framed Hagrid! Yes, 
But you, Harry Potter, how is it that you managed to defeat the greatest wizard of all time? Why do you care? Haven't you realized yet? <laughs> I... I am Lord Voldemort, the greatest sorcerer in the world. Sorry to disappoint you in all that, but the greatest sorcerer in the world is Albus Dumbledore. Dumbledore's been driven out of Hogwarts by the mere memory of me. He's not as gone as you might think. To business, Harry. I'm going to teach you a little lesson. Let's match the powers of Lord Voldemort, heir of Salazar Slytherin, against the famous Harry Potter.
Ginny. Let's get out of here. year at Hogwarts. And so, for their many achievements and outstanding commitment to the school, it is with great pleasure that I present the House Cup to Gryffindor. Yeah! finally realized that he was hearing a basilisk in the pipes. How he and Ron, following a hint from Hagrid, had followed the spiders into the forest. That Aragog had told them where the last victim of the basilisk, 50 years before, had died. How he had guessed that Moaning Myrtle had been the victim, and that the entrance to the basilisk's lair, the Chamber of Secrets, might be in her bathroom. But how did you all get out of there alive? Well, it all had to do with loyalty and friendship. And courage. <laughs> Harry, you can't forget that. Yes, and courage too. Professor Dumbledore explained that 50 years ago, Lord Voldemort, as the 16-year-old Tom Riddle, had enchanted his diary. And that diary had enchanted Ginny. For it was Lucius Malfoy who had planted Tom Riddle's diary on the hapless Ginny Weasley. And as for Harry, well, once again, he 
he truly was the boy who lived. Bloody awesome, so he probably didn't know that. Wow, that's that's there's no end credits. Well that's the end of the Harry Potter and Chamber of Secrets walkthrough. Uh, until then, I'll see you guys later.